Hey crew, it's Ben, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today, we're burning through the catalog, and it's Tom time. Uh, this will be coming out on Friday, so it's Tom Friday already, and we're going to check it out and see what he's got going on. Full disclosure, I have seen most of Tom's stuff before. This is not my first time reacting to this. If you're looking for a first time reaction, this is not the one. This is just me talking about what Tom brings up. Because I like talking about the stuff that Tom brings up. Let's dig in to Exposure by Tom McDonald. Yeah. Let me break it down for every single doubter. You're afraid of what I'm doing. You're a coward. coward. Your favorite rappers doing downers and you make them feel empowered to their fertilizing soil pushing flowers. Man. There's a toxic, toxic culture out there right now that, that is pushing into you that you need to take as many chemicals as you possibly can. That is terrible. It is killing us. It is killing our youth. Yeah, what the little Wayne, Rick Ross, and 2 Chains all have in common? They make a living off gangster rap, but they all went to college. They just taking advantage of you. They, they play an algorithm. They, they rape in the market. They know what they're doing. It's all just marketing strategy, so you empty your wallet. Endorsing vodka to make a buck and make you alcoholics. They make you stupid with Xanax. They make you broke with designers. They use the music to confuse the youth and influence minors. Ah, how awesome is this? Like, Tom is always bringing the heat. That's what I love about Tom. Like, Tom helped me get my faith back in humanity because I had given up on everybody. I was like, fuck them all. <laughs> I really was. And then... I started watching Tom videos. I was like, this dude's on it. And then I started watching Tom reaction videos. I was like, all right, we got some people out here. And then I found NF. And between the two of them, they gave me hope in humanity again. For real. Isn't it funny how these rappers went from fighting the power to buy a gun and sell some drugs in just a matter of hours to turn the students to felons that just get fed to the system because there are people making fortunes off of privatized prisons. <laughs> I did a video when I was doing news back in 2020. I did a video about Parchment Prison problems because the the institutionalized prison system that we have is terrible, like absolutely fucking terrible. We have punitive justice and we don't have any rehabilitation whatsoever going on. That is terrible. Part of the goal on this channel, I say it a lot, I'm going to say it a lot. The goal on this channel, we, we have a vision here. What we are going to do here is we're going to start a school. And at this school, we are going to take the homeless and people coming fresh from prison that want to change their lives but need some help. And we're going to do that. We're going to have live-on facilities with a one-bedroom, one-bathroom house and mental health facilities on site 24 hours a day in a structured environment and we're going to teach people life skills we're going to teach them to balance a checkbook and how to pay taxes because everybody's got to pay taxes but we're going to teach them a trade we're going to teach them how to be a plumber or a carpenter or a gardener or something that they can go out and become productive members of society well adjusted with mental health resources available because that that's what we need if we're going to change this country around then we need to reach out to the people that can't get up <clears throat> my goal on this channel is to start that school i want to start that process that is what i want to do that is my and my wife's vision for what is going to go forward from this we're going to be that change that we want to see in the world they objectify women till they are all that you crave So you don't realize there's more to life than just getting laid This has always been one of my big problems Like yeah, If y'all ain't used to a pit video I, I talk a lot Especially on Tom Because Tom always brings some good stuff to the table Nick Natoli is another good one for that uh, this, this idolization of women, that's, that's always been one of my problems. I have a problem with lust. That is, lust and wrath are my two great sins. Uh, and part of my life journey has been learning how to deal with that in a healthy adult manner. 
what is shoved at us from the time we are children until we are grown is is terrible. It is. It's beautiful to see a beautiful woman. But to see them debase themselves on OnlyFans, that's that's terrible. You're showing your butt all and most people on OnlyFans are making less than a hundred dollars a month. But they're showing their butthole to the entire world. Like, that's terrible, bro. Terrible. I'm laughing just because it's such a horrible situation. And I laugh in under inappropriate places. You think you're happy, but you're really just so caught in the game That you don't realize you're wasting all your money to play They give you rappers with rainbow hair who wear clothes like your girlfriend To emasculate the men that emulate all the urban trends Bad. Got you wearing pretty dresses and heels And popping pills like you really know how the pressure can feel Y'all some posers, dying <laughs> for acceptance and exposure Trying to be the... I've got, I've got, I'm working on getting my own stuff out I've got some of my stuff from when I was dealing with depression some of the stuff that I wrote. And it's going to be coming out. I'm going to be rolling that out soon. But I've got to get it where I can talk about it. Because one of the things we deal with on this channel is depression and mental health. That is one of my main concerns. We deal with a lot of heavy subjects here. Um, and Tom has helped me realize the need for that. That is why we're doing what we're doing. Rappers on the posters, all I hear is new chain, big house, fast cars, so boring. And all of that is lies, man, it's so corny. Death threats coming every other day for me. But I don't believe a word as is ghost stories. Hi, my name is Tom McDonald. Welcome to the show. If you are easily offended, then you probably should go. My resident I'm gonna piss you off. It don't matter who you are. Like even if you agree with me, most of the time, when you don't agree with me, you're gonna get mad. Because I am very blunt about the things I say. I am very firm in what I believe. I am willing to change my mind. If you can come to me in a factual manner, I'm willing to change my mind about some shit. But I, I am firmly rooted where I need to be. And my goal is mental health and helping people. That is what I do. But I will piss you off. Donald, welcome to the show. If you are easily offended, then you probably should go. My resolution of losers who my new music is triggered and just a million views on YouTube is too big middle finger. I don't apologize or compromise. I quantify the figures because I'm optimized for making a killing and getting bigger. Had the fire all along. I needed fuel and a flicker to light the fuse to the mixture of the rumors and liquor. They got nothing else to do but try to cut me with scissors. But what's a blade to a building made out of iron and pillars? Go ahead and cry me a river because I've been dying to go swimming and I'm Designed to find it funny when they whine because I'm winning. I <laughs> and see, that's me right there. That's me right there. Just tell the truth, it's up to you to love or dismiss it. I'm just pointing out what I feel like the game has been missing. And every time I open my mouth up, you get offended. You say the talk is cheap, but then you act like it's expensive. You can't afford to speak your mind, afraid you'll get rejected by some strangers on the internet whose lives are all pathetic. I was surrounded by people who just pretend to be down. And then I blew up off a record, no one's friends with me now. I've realized that my potential so intensely profound that there was bound to be some haters getting caught in the crowd. I won't apologize for anything I said or I'll say. If you're allergic to opinions, you should just walk away. Don't give a shit about your arguments and your complaints i'd love to have you in my audience just know it isn't safe white people are the biggest people on the planet but even still i swear i'm sick to death of hearing it you're not a model you're a waitress and the man taking your picture is a pervert with a camera and no photography experience you <laughs> waitress and the man taking your picture is a pervert with a camera and no photography experience you cry about gorillas getting shot inside a zoo and then take photos on your phone when someone's dying next to you that is a horrible trend that we have going on. Like, there's none of this is new. I'm, I could stop it after every bar and expound upon it after every single bar. This is more to get the message out to maybe somebody that hasn't heard it. Like, he's got 6.8 million views. Most people that are going to watch it have seen it already. Chances are you're, like, just stumbled across my channel. I'm tiny. But I want to make sure that I'm reflecting this positive message back out into the universe. That's what I'm doing here.
We all only care about each other if it means you'll get some views and you can say that I'm a d but what I say is just the truth. Ben. There's a disconnect between the things you feel and what's said. Cause you're afraid of what they'll think, so you don't say what you meant. If being true to myself means that I'll lose the respect, then I'll stand my ground like both my feet are stuck in cement. I was raised to keep my feelings, thoughts, and words all consistent. If you're censoring your heart, then what's the reason for living? I don't need their approval to validate my position and I don't need to be accepted. Never ask for permission. They attacked me from behind and tried to silence the vision Tried to kill me with fire and from the ashes I've risen My motivation won't expire, I don't get tired, I get driven If they don't like it, then they're not required to comment and listen They just hide behind their keyboards trying to find the ambition To go make something of their life while they die for attention uh, What are you doing to make something of your life? Do you have a goal? Set a goal for yourself today If you don't have a goal, set a goal today And then work towards it, diligently Small steps proceed. Tom McDonald, thank you again for the hotness. Nova Rockefeller, thank you for the video. To the crew, thank you for hanging around. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me, and I am praying for you every single day. This has been Pitt State. Peace.